Welcome to Capital OTB's Daily Report, brought to you by CapitalOTBBet.com. If you're not already a member, look it up. Find out all the information. Easy to sign up. Plenty of bells and whistles if you become a member. CapitalOTBBet.com. More information at CapitalOTB.com. This is the Daily Report for Wednesday, March 24th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Seth Merrow, as always at the top of the show. I'd like to toss out a trivia question, as we did last week in honor of the Louisiana Derby. This week we'll concentrate a little bit on Gulfstream and the Florida Derby for our questions over the next couple of days. And uh, today's trivia question, how many Florida Derby winners have gone on to win the Kentucky Derby over the last 10 years? How many Florida Derby winners have won the Kentucky Derby over the last 10 years? Lock in your answer. We will give you the correct answer at the end of the show. In the meantime, we're going to kick it off for this Wednesday, March 24th edition of the Daily Report. Mandaloon, Poxy looking to unwind on the far outside, then toward the inside, right and just, as they come for home, star in my dreams, from Obeso Sand Run Classic, they come down toward this final furlong, it's Hot Rod Charlie and Midnight Bourbon needs to lift, Hot Rod Charlie finding for Joel Rosario, they come past the 16th, Hot Rod Charlie just holds Midnight Bourbon, and rattling home is Obesos. it's Hot Rod Charlie to win, the Twinspires.com Louisiana Derby. Second photo, Midnight Bourbon and Obesos close. Proxy finished fourth. That was Hot Rod Charlie getting it done in the Louisiana Derby, invading from Southern California. Midnight Bourbon holds on for second. Obesos, a nice late run at 28-1 to to be third. Proxy fourth, a little bit disappointing, very disappointing as the 6-5 to five favorite Mandaloon runs sixth in there. Does that flatter the West Coast runners? Maybe. I tend to think probably just a little more unflattering to the horses that seem to be uh, making noise on the Louisiana Trail, Mandaloon and Proxy. Um, and, and you would have to think with the, the top contender out on the West Coast, going to the sidelines life is good as the news came out over the weekend that he came out of a, a workout with uh, just a, a maybe a little bit of a ding that's going to set him back um, and off the derby trail likely it seems like on balance yeah hot rod charlie invades from southern california but i think on balance it was probably a little more uh, negative for uh, the fairgrounds trail than it was positive for the uh, Southern California runners. We'll see, but you would have to think essential quality and greatest honor probably given the situation with Life is Good move up now. Speaking of that, there is another Kentucky Derby pool coming up on uh, this coming weekend, and I'm just looking at the morning line for the uh, next Kentucky Derby pool, future pool, future pool five, uh, and sure enough, uh, essential quality three to one greatest honor four to one um so they are taking the action hot rod charlie six to one you could have gotten hot rod charlie a couple of weeks ago in pool four for 53 to one so if you jumped on board and grabbed that then you were very happy with the uh, results on saturday on the flip side of that mandaloon in the last pool pool four was 17 to one but bounced up off the poor performance this past Saturday, bounced up to a morning line on this coming Pool 5 to 30-1. to 1. So Mandaloon took a little of the worst of it uh, there as far as the difference in the odds between Pool 4 and upcoming Pool number 5 in the Kentucky Derby. This week we'll learn more about uh, Greatest Honor. And, of course, if you're a Greatest Honor fan, that's not going to help you at all as far as the, the Derby future pools because if he runs well, you're going to get your your value cut. And uh, if he runs poorly, then it, it's not going to make a difference one way or the other, perhaps. But, uh, again, 4-1 to one on the morning line for Greatest Honor. We'll see what he does this coming week. And, and speaking of West Coast runners, it's going to be very interesting to see what Spielberg does coming in for Baffert. Baffert isn't a guy who normally uh, – takes uh, horses to these derby preps down in Florida, but he elects to do so with Spielberg. So we'll see what that one can do for what has been so far a potent Baffert outfit as far as Kentucky Derby runners. But again, his what, what you would have to assume was his top uh, 
potential performer on the Derby Trail. Life is good goes to the sidelines. So he's now uh, elevating the rest of them, and it'll be fun, as I say, to see what happens on Saturday in the Florida Derby with Spielberg. But greatest honor for Shug. Clearly going to be the one that uh, everybody is looking at. So we'll have more conversation about the uh, Florida Derby over the next few days. Also coming up on the weekend, Dubai World Cup. Nice undercard there. Plenty of American runners that will have uh, – to look forward to and to root for over there. Always a fun day. International racing always offers some value because it's a puzzle. Handicapping horses coming in from different venues and over there in Dubai, it's always a a top class group of runners heading to uh, all of the fields over there. And this year is no exception with what looks like some big fields in um, the majority of the stakes races on Dubai world cup day coming up on Saturday. Uh, as far as Wednesday, uh, at Capital OTB, Capital OTB TV, we will uh, be, first of all, let me mention, featuring some nighttime thoroughbred racing, Capital OTB TV, Capital OTB Bet.com. So uh, keep that in mind if you're playing on Saturday. But we'll be looking at, uh, on the TV side, Gulfstream, Tampa, Parks, Saratoga Harness at about noontime. We'll kick off on the sulky side of things. Penn National a little bit later on as far as nighttime also turfway and charlestown so some nice action coming up on wednesday at capital otb do want to hit you with some of the promos that are coming up uh at capital otb and do want to mention since i talked about the uh, dubai world cup if you're in the albany area you'd like to watch that racing and uh enjoy some friends around to root with maybe you can come on down to the Clubhouse Racebook because we will be opening our doors on Saturday at 9 a.m. at the Clubhouse Racebook for Dubai World Cup action. That's 711 Central Avenue in Albany. Wednesday night, <clears throat> nighttime thoroughbred racing available, and you get a 2% thoroughbred bonus. If you're a member of the Players Rewards Program, there's some restrictions. Check out the website, capitalotb.com, for more information. Thursday. An online pick four bankroll. I'll be playing a uh, early and a late pick four at Gulfstream on Thursday on behalf of the bankroll team. Uh, last time we did it, eh, a week and a half or so ago, managed to put a little money in everybody's pocket. We will try to do it again on Thursday. Check out the website to put your name in the hat to potentially get on the team. Thursday, there's also a one hundred dollar online, oh, a one hundred dollar knockout challenge actually at the Clubhouse Racebook on Thursday. So come on down to the racebook to take advantage of that. Friday, we'll spin the prize wheel at the race book. If you come down, you put your name in the hat. Folks are randomly selected throughout the afternoon to spin the wheel. There are vouchers and there's some merchandise on the wheel. It's always a lot of fun. Prize wheel day, Friday at the Clubhouse Race Book. Friday's a 1% aqueduct wagering bonus day. Again, with restrictions, check the website. Saturday, a $100 online win bet contest. Saturday, also at the Clubhouse Race Book, there's a match bet promotion. A track bonus on Dubai on Saturday, so keep that in mind. And Sunday, there's an online bankroll as well. And you can check out the website for more information on all of these, capitalotb.com. Now, for the answer to the trivia question, which was, how many Florida Derby winners have won the Kentucky Derby over the last 10 years? Lock in your answer. It's a... it's. You know, between 0 and 10, so I'm not giving you a multiple choice today. Normally, I'll give some hints with a multiple choice, but come on, pick a number. Pick a number, and we'll uh, we'll lock you into that. So lock in your number, and we'll give you the answer right after this, which is the stretch run of the last horse that won both the Kentucky Derby and the Florida Derby. And it is always dreaming in front, always dreaming with Battle of Midway a length and a half behind as they come into the final furlong. Looking at Lee is making a bid now, through on the inside, up into second. Always dreaming with a two and a half length lead of 16th to go. Looking at Lee is second, then comes Battle of Midway, Classic Empire. They're coming to the line, and the dream comes true. Always dreaming has won the Kentucky Derby. That was always dreaming, winning the 2017 Kentucky Derby. He also won the Florida Derby that year. In the past 10 years, Nyquist in 2016 made the Florida Derby-Kentucky Derby double. 
and Orb did it in 2013. So there have been three winners of the Kentucky Derby that also won the Florida Derby over the past 10 years. Now, there is an asterisk because uh, 2019, Maximum Security did come under the finish line first but was subsequently disqualified. So three official winners over the last 10 years. Always dreaming Nyquist Orb doubling up Florida Derby and Kentucky Derby. We'll see if this year's winner can do it, and we'll know who has the potential to do it by winning the Florida Derby. We'll find that out this weekend. Looking forward to the card down at Gulfstream, which looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, I'm going to wrap it up for this Wednesday edition of the Daily Report. Happy to have you tune in. We are brought to you again by CapitalOTBBet.com, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good luck.